Hey, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. For today, I have some decorating for you. It's a few different videos that I've filmed of me decorating envelopes and I thought you might enjoy seeing it. This week my classes have started again and I wasn't feeling very well last weekend so I kind of wanted a easy to edit and easygoing video for this week just to get started and I will be back to making more elaborate videos for you soon. I have some very good ideas and I hope, I really really hope I have the time for all of them. It has been quite a while since I have decorated these envelopes so I don't always remember who I sent this to. I think this one was going to Sweden for a swap I agreed to on Instagram. And what this video basically shows is that I try a lot and just put things down and I have to assure you that I edit it out a lot of just moving things around and placing things and deciding what I liked the best and I know this video is now a little less than 15 minutes but that took a lot of editing out and I usually take about half an hour per envelope to decorate because I don't know I just like to take my time while crafting and yeah <laughs> um, and I probably know and I know that a lot of people don't have time for this but and Sometimes I don't, sometimes I have to keep it more simple because I don't have the time. But I like to take my time and this is my hobby, so, so I make time for decorating. I also try to edit out a lot of the gluing because gluing kind of takes a lot of time. <laughs> And what you see me doing here is obviously stamping, but to protect my um, anything that comes that I don't want to have stamped, I put a little paper under it. So this way, for example, on the last stamp, the washi doesn't get stamped or my tablecloth doesn't get stamped. <laughs> I always try to match my stamps. Is it just me or is it for is it confusing for a lot of people that stamps and stamps are called the same? Like do you call them postal stamps or and, and the other ones inking stamps? Or is, is there a differentiation? Like am I just using the wrong words? Because I always say stamps for both and it confuses me a lot but anyway I try to match my stamps with my envelope but sometimes like for this one I don't have enough room this one I know for sure went to Sweden I think this one even went to the same person as you can see I already ha had this image cut out but it was a little bit too big and recently I have been fuzzy cutting a little bit more fuzzy. <laughs> so a little bit more close to the image itself. And I find that that gives it a little bit more, you can see the background a little bit more and it gives you a, bit, a little bit more wiggle room on your envelope. And I was also wondering like in this envelope, I always try to use every scrap and I used to never throw any scrap away. I just kept it in a box and then kind of never used it anymore. 
so I started throwing like the little scrap that yeah the little uh, parts of paper that I teared away I started throwing them away if I didn't use them immediately because I tended to never use them I was wondering how do you make sure you use all of your craft supplies because I have a feeling that the things I gravitate to the most are the things that are inside or something so yeah I hope you're following my rambling <laughs> because I, lo I just totally lost my chain of thought Hey kitty! <laughs> so, as this video probably shows, is that I don't really have a single method for decorating envelopes. I just go with what I think looks good. I make mistakes like this one. And I take my time and I just, just go with it. The only method I can think of is that I usually go with one bigger image and then base the rest of the envelope on that image. So I look at the color scheme and the theme and then I go with that. And yeah, I try to match the um, stamps with the envelope. Which isn't always possible, but here I had a blue and red stamp, so that's nice. And this one was for a um, retro slash vintage theme swap. And I think I kept it kind of simple. I am fascinated with these Rob-On stickers. How do they work? <laughs> and yeah, sometimes my cat is so irritating. He just thinks he owns the table. And especially when I'm crafting, he comes sit with me. He likes laying on the tablecloth. But as I was saying, I'm quite fascinated with these Rob-On stickers. How does this work? <laughs> Can someone explain to me how it works? Yeah, I know that you rub it and then it sticks, but how does that work? And here I put on a sticker that I later decided I didn't really like. And I was lucky that it pulled off so easily. And then I thought that the um, label I put on didn't give me enough room because her address was quite big and even with this new label I put on I had to really write really small
How does that work? Just how? <laughs> and I said that I thought I would, I kept it simple, but I feel like I still decorated quite a lot on this envelope. And actually, as I'm filming this, I just saw a picture of her posting that it arrived, and it took it took a really long time for it to arrive. And although I glued the, the envelope together, I wanted to cover that line with some washi tape. And I think this vintage one really fits the theme. So yeah, that's this envelope. And for the next, I had um, I was doing a swap on swap bots <coughs> and you had to send two envelopes so I decided to decorate them uh, similar and because what was in there didn't fit in any other envelope that I already had I made my own envelopes About swap bots. So I'm quite in dubio whether I want to continue doing swap bot or not. I really like the rating system, so uh, people are kind of obliged to do their best, and I always do my best when I send mail. But I have received some things that that aren't really like. You have this whole profile and then somebody still sends you something that you explicitly say said you rather not receive or sends you something that's damaged or stinks and then that actually has never happened on Swapbot before. The thing why I don't want to why I'm thinking of not continuing with Swapbot is I don't really like the deadlines and that you have you need to have done quite a lot of swaps already before you can do the really good swaps, the swaps that I think I really like. And I get it, you want to have sh people proven that they can do pretty things and that people like the things that they send. But still, how can I ever achieve that if I don't get the chance to join? Like I've only had five, so why don't you give me the chance to join? I, I already did quite some swaps. I think like 20 or something and I've got even more fives because I've sent to more people so that kind of bothers me what do you do if you are on swapbot please tell me let me know what you think about it and what do you think it's I should continue just doing um, that's also a thing I find it really hard to find swaps that I really like and next to that I feel like I can know somebody a little bit better by visually seeing what they like what they post on Instagram rather than just a long text so yeah those are my thoughts on Swapbot I would really like to hear what you think if you are on Swapbot and what do you think I should continue or just just stop for a little while and these are the finished envelopes and yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you were okay with watching me decorate quite a few envelopes if you liked it please like the video and if you want to see more subscribe thank you so much for watching bye